Hi, this is Robert Rothmeyer, Director of Library and Information Services here at Concordia Theological Seminary in snowy Fort Wayne, Indiana. We thought it'd be a great Christmas present to our donors and friends in the church to have a progress report on the expansion of Walther Library. I'm standing in the area that will be the patio of the expansion that will look out directly over the lake. And in my backdrop behind us is the seawall that's been created to separate the building proper from the, the lake itself. As many of you know, site preparation for this project took place in September and continued into October. And most of the month of November and here in early December was spent building the seawall that surrounds me. The seawall has straight walls coming up to the level of the elevation that the lake will eventually come back to. And beyond the elevation of the surface of the lake water, it goes to the 22 and a half degree off of the vertical angle that is experienced with the plinth of the chapel and also the chapel roof itself. We'll see this further featured out as the building continues to take shape as we move through the winter and into the spring. That angle will continue past the seawall on up to the prefabricated concrete pieces and even to the railing that will form the roof, which is also the plaza atop the library extension. We're at the southern end of the library at a point where the seawall is complete as well as the footings and the internal lower wall of the new building. The crews at this point are backfilling the area between the seawall and the library wall itself and compacting that as well as bringing dirt in against the walls both on the outside of the seawall and on the interior of the building bringing those up to the elevation where the slab will be poured for the actual floor of the library. We're here at the very southeastern corner of the historic library. In the backdrop, we have the deepest part of the library extension. It's an area that goes two floors below the lower level of the library extension and contains all of the mechanical and air handling units for the library extension. They've been taking the earth that was in this area and using it on site to backfill behind the seawall and the library interior walls to the west. And this past week got down to the level of the mechanical basement. This week they began putting in the footings for the mechanical basement and because the weather has turned sharply colder here, they spend the last hour of the afternoon blanketing down all their new concrete pours. Our journey around the construction project has taken us full circle now. We're to the western side of the library, just below the wall around the chapel, looking back on the construction site with all the end-of-day activity as they sew things up. Just behind us, the crane, which they leave each night at that famous Saarinen angle of 22 and a half degrees off of the vertical, has just hoisted the Christmas star uh, to the top and it is electrified, so the star will shine here brightly on the campus at night, along with the other lighted Christmas trees we have throughout uh, the acreage. That Christmas star reminds us that we're just two days away now from our Lord's Nativity and the celebration that we'll have in all of our parishes across the United States and the world, uh, commemorating our Lord's coming into the flesh for our salvation. And it is a steadfast reminder of the work we do here day in and day out, forming servants in Jesus Christ to teach the faithful, reach the lost, and care for all.